Well, hello everybody. I hope everybody is doing good. So, I decided to do a different video today. I know it's been a while since y'all have seen me. I know, I know, I know. But you know, there are some there have been some things that have been going on in my life that I'm going to share just a little bit of in this video. But also, I'm going to make it a part of my channel so y'all y'all kind of know what's going on. But I hope everybody has been good so as you see by the title of this video today I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag now I recently hit 5,000 subscribers on my channel and I'm just so thankful and grateful for all of you all that have subscribed that have um, left a thumbs up that have left positive comments all the views I just want to thank you all so much for that so I thought that this would be the perfect time to do a get to know me tag just to introduce you all to me because I don't think I've ever really been personal on my channel so I thought that this would be a really good time for you all to get to know me better so um, I did just pull some questions from different lists just some basic questions so I don't make this video too long and I don't go too far out in left field since this is more of an introductory type of video so um i'm just going to get into the questions that i pulled so the first question that i have is what is my name okay my name is krista robinson krista not crystal kristen christy a lot of times people will hear or pick up on a different variation of what my name actually is but my name is Krista Robinson hence my YouTube name K Robin okay the next question how old am I I am 32 years old I just turned 32 last month in May next question where am I from okay I am from Mississippi I know y'all could probably hear my southern accent Okay, I am from the South, Mississippi, born and raised, and I still do live in Mississippi. Okay, um, next question. What is my profession? So, okay, I went to school um, for accounting, so I do have an accounting degree, and so that is actually the field that I'm working in. Now, right now, I am working as an internal auditor. Oh, I can't even talk an internal auditor for an organization and I've been working as an internal auditor for since February so almost let's see February March April May June July almost five months so just about five months I've been working in this position and I'm absolutely loving it the next question am I single or taken okay so this is what I said that I was going to talk about some personal things that was going on in my life. That is a big part of it. Okay, so right now I am legally taken, which means right now I am separated. And so I am in the middle of a divorce right now. And so I feel comfortable sharing that because I that is something that I'm going to talk about more in depth on my channel. Because I do feel like it will actually help someone, especially because the reasoning for the divorce is not um, for your typical reasons, you know, like cheating, um, you know, drinking, gambling, anything like that. So, sorry, let me plug my phone up. But yeah, it's my lighting changed. Oh, I can't stand when it does that. But, um, yes, that is, now it looks funny. But, um, yes, that is, um, what's going on with that right now. I am in the middle of a divorce, so I am legally taken until about mid-August. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, do I have any children? Yes, I have two children. I have a three-year-old son, which he will be four in October, and I have a um, 
almost one year old daughter. She will actually be one in about two and a half weeks, somewhere around there. So yes, I have just say almost four year old and a one year old. Okay, next question. How many siblings do I have? So I have one sibling. I have one older sister and she is almost six years older than me. How tall am I? So I am 5'8". Now, I know 5'8 is tall for a woman. It's typically, you know, people see that as being really tall for a woman. Um, a lot of times I get questions like, did I play sports? particularly basketball no I am not athletically gifted at all okay I'm just tall my dad he's tall he's I think like 5'11 6 feet something like that <clears throat> excuse me so I get my height from my dad so I mean the thing about it is that even though I know that I'm tall I don't feel like I'm just tall or extremely tall but you know, I could tell by the way that people like will look at me, you know, the way that they look at me or or when I get questions and things like that because when I put on heels, because when I wear heels, I probably don't wear less than a 3 inch heel. So, I'm usually running at 3, 4 inch heel area. And so of course by then I'm about 6 feet. So, yes, I am 5'8", but I love it. I I really do. Next question, am I an introvert or an extrovert? I am a true introvert, okay? I'm, I'm the type of person, and I've gotten a lot better with it since I've gotten older, but when I was in grade school, it was really bad. Like, I didn't, I didn't want to deal with people. You know, I was very shy, very reserved, and I, I'm still <clears throat> kind of like that more reserved not as shy as I was when I was in grade school but even now I still feel that I have to take time for myself like I I like to be around people at certain times but after I'm around people for so long I feel like I have to leave because it starts to drain my energy and it, and it starts to tire me out I don't know it's weird it's like if I know that it's going to be really busy somewhere, like Black Friday sales or um, going to Walmart or any type of store when I know it's going to be extra busy, I can't do it because it seems like it drains my energy just like that. And I feel like I have to get away to recharge. But yes, I am a true introvert. Next question. What is my zodiac sign? I am a Taurus, okay? I am the, the uh, explanation or the description of a Taurus. I am that to a T, okay? I am a true bull. Um, next question. Do I have any tattoos? Yes, I do have one tattoo. And I would show it to y'all, but I'm in the parking lot at work. And I never know when somebody's walking around or, or is going to walk up on my car. But I do have a tattoo here, one tattoo on my shoulder of a butterfly. Now, a lot of times I don't even think about my tattoo unless, like my baby boy, he may say butterfly or something. Or if my baby girl, she sees it, sometimes she tries to like scratch it off of my shoulder or something. But I don't even think about that tattoo being back there. But my tattoo is, is just I was younger I think I got it when I was like 23 24 years old and I just got it because it was pretty like it doesn't have a, a meaning really um let's see next question favorite foods or drinks and our drinks so my favorite all-time food I will have to say being from the south is soul food okay I love soul food now I don't eat soul food all of the time okay I, I usually try to save that time for special occasions you no know, holidays um, if something's going on you know family get-togethers and stuff like that but I don't eat um, soul food every single day uh, my favorite dessert is strawberry shortcake and it's always been strawberry shortcake, but 
I mean, recently, or like lately, probably within the last couple of years, I've really started to love birthday cake. Like, just the plain white or yellow um, birthday cake with the uh, white buttercream icing. Love it. My favorite drink, um, I would have to say water. 95% of the time, I drink water. So, uh, I would have to say my favorite drink will be water now my favorite alcoholic beverage i love a, a good mixed drink or a good margarita with a good flavor to it uh, but if i just want something more chilled you know like i'm um, just trying to wind down for the night i like a good wine now the wine that i like right now i get from walmart and it is called bella bole i think it's called red moscato nine dollars at walmart gets me where i need to be in one glass when i just want that mellow just want to have that mellowed out feeling to just like wind down at the end of the night so i can sleep better that does it okay next question my favorite color blue blue is my favorite color i was so die hard on um blue when I was younger in grade school and high school and things like that. Now, I will kind of gravitate and buy things in other colors, but I do still kind of like uh, resort back to the color blue on things also. So yes, my favorite color is blue. And any, any color blue, any, you know, any color blue I'm drawn to. Next question favorite clothing store now my favorite clothing store because you know a lot of um a lot of there are a lot of like online shops now so my favorite shop right now or store right now is she in when i tell y'all the now of course with a lot of stores it is going to be hit or miss okay nobody can really well some people can but for the prices that you're getting from she in it's going to be a, a hit or miss but when I can get like a nice dress, looks like I should have paid 30, 40 dollars for, and I get it for 15 dollars. That that's my kind of store, especially with me working in a office building in an office setting, and I have two small children, and I'm going through a divorce right now. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on clothing. So she in it just gives me that perfect balance where I can find really nice clothes and get it for a really really good price so yes yeah, she in is my favorite store right now okay favorite yes favorite fragrance so i don't really have like a particularly favorite fragrance as far as um like female or women's um perfumes or anything like that I mean, I do have some perfumes maybe that I've gotten for gifts or whatever, but I'm not really just like, oh, that's my favorite scent. Um, if I do wear some type of fragrance, unless it's like a really special occasion, I will wear like an actual perfume, but I tend to just kind of like spray on like a body spray or something from Bath & Body Works. So I guess you could say Bath & Body Works, like I really love their, their body spray scents. Now, if you want to start talking about some men's cologne, I love, when I say love, I love, a I'm sorry about that, y'all. I had to make a run to my kids' daycare. As you see, I had to go, look, see the box of Pampers in the back. My baby ran out of Pampers, and I just forgot to send them, so I had to run to daycare and take them. But I want to go on to finish this video. So, like I was saying, I don't really have like a favorite like scent, like a perfume or anything like that. Just really like Bath and Body Works sprays. But like I said, if you want to get into some men's cologne, when I say I love a good smelling men's cologne like seriously like it's 
it's to the point where it's serious, y'all. Like, if I smell a good smell of man, it would literally stop me in my tracks, stop me in mid-sentence, and, and I just automatically just turn around and say, oh, what is that? You know, and I have to be careful with that because then sometimes men think that I, I may be flirting, but seriously, I just want to know what the what the cologne is so I can go by and use it as air freshener because I would use men's cologne like an air freshener. Like, I'm that in love with men's cologne. Like, I love the, um, I want to say my all-time favorite one, Aqua Di Gio by Giorgio Armani. Man, when I say just, it just melts me. Love a good man's cologne. Okay, the next question is my favorite child and i'm so sorry y'all that i'm not looking at the camera while i'm doing this but i'm on my way back to work so i thought that i could go on and finish it um but um the next question is my favorite childhood memory really y'all my favorite childhood memory is just the and, and i find myself reflecting on this quite a bit i guess because i am older now but just the innocence of being a child like i grew up in the country like mississippi you know it's a lot of country out here so um i grew up in the country and so i find myself reflecting back on those simpler times where you know those those summer days or spring and summer days when we were out uh for school or when i was out um of school and just enjoying being outside and just enjoying that peaceful environment you know that that is what i consider to be my favorite childhood memory it's just a place of peace and serenity in a sense um and so i i find myself going back to those memories of just serenity from my childhood so that is actually my favorite childhood memory okay so my next question is my pet peeves y'all i guess my pet peeves deals with people <laughs> people for the most part um one of my biggest ones and i guess because i work in an office building so i um you know we we have like um bathroom stalls in the restrooms right right now my no problem but I don't work on really busy floors, okay? So a lot of times the restroom is not full at all. 99% of the time, there's an option to at least skip one stall if somebody's in a stall. One thing that I cannot stand is when someone uses the stall right beside me when there are clearly other options. Clearly other options to at least put one stall between us. I would purposefully go to the stall next to the end stall and there will be someone that will come all the way down to the stall beside me when when they clearly skip, skip like four or five free stalls like that is a one of my biggest pet peeves biggest pet peeves um another pet peeve someone that crosses in front of me and don't say excuse me like in the grocery store and i think that's just kind of common but being in the south and being from like a um growing up where you know hospitality is is um common and then moving to an area now where hospitality is not so common so you have people that cross in front of you and, and do all of that now without saying excuse me so that's a pet peeve um people that just stare at me and don't say anything that's a pet peeve of mine i just stare back at them uh so yeah it yeah my pet peeves have to do with people <laughs> so the last question that i have on my list is what are my goals okay now i know these questions are all out of whack but that is the question that i wanted to finish with so um my goals is to become a millionaire <laughs> i want to be a millionaire y'all but seriously my goal now at this moment is to become financially stable to where i can care for me and my children with no outside help right 
so that means I can do it all on my own even though I don't feel like I will ever have to do it on my own I want to get to that point where me and my children can live comfortably and, and fin financially comfortable to where things aren't a problem you know um, to where I don't have to say oh I, re I really hope that you know this person is able to bring this money through because I really need it no I want to be able to handle everything on my own to where I don't have to ask anybody for anything which I don't ask anybody for anything now but you know just with the life changes that's going on with me getting a divorce that is something that I'm really really uh, working towards so yes I think that is all that I have for now y'all I'm trying to get back to work because they called me at the end of my lunch break to tell me that my baby didn't have diapers and I just you know yeah so I'm on my way back to work and I hope y'all enjoyed this video I hope that you all um I hope that you all, like I said, really enjoyed this video, that you were able to learn a little bit more about me as a person, because I do want to become more personal with you all. Um, and also, I want to get to know you all more also and start to build personal relationships or, you know, friendships, YouTube ships, whatever you want to call it with you all. So once again, I just want to thank you all so much for everything, for the views, for the comments, the support. Um, for subscribing. I want to thank you all so much and I will see you all next time. Bye.